this is uh, my second version of a Lego vacuum powered engine, and the design is actually entirely based on um, Lego Kid 900's tutorial video. So I just followed the steps and built one exactly like it. And this, I must say, is probably my favorite single cylinder design because it actually works. I tried several others but was unsuccessful with them, even with a lot of fine-tuning. However, this one, without using any grease at all, runs very smoothly. In fact, it runs so well that sometimes, um, if I attach the hose on too tightly, it'll rip the piston out of the crankshaft because the vacuum is so strong. An interesting feature about this design is that there's no external valves, there's just the one intake valve, and the way it works is that this platform, which is the piston, actually tilts as it goes forward, and when it tilts, it acts like an exhaust vent so that the vacuum can't pull it in until it's flat like that, then it can be pulled in. And also the crankshaft itself was built using um, a bunch of flat pieces so that it could have a counterweight on it, which makes it much more reliable and then just a flywheel on the end. So, turn it on. And I must say though, instead of attaching the hose completely over the hole, I actually have to hold it a little bit off of it, otherwise it's so strong it just breaks. So, let's start it up. to make sure it spins smoothly, I actually had to adjust this crankshaft just a little bit by minutely moving it back and forth, as you can see. So, that's it.